Hello lovely people who are subscribers or just happen to stumble upon this video. I'm going to show you all exactly 11 outfits that I have put together for the fall season that are completely thrifted. Except for like one pair of shoes and one pair of jeans and there's also this shirt that I bought from an artist who screen printed it. But that's supporting artists and local businesses so I feel like that still kind of sort of counts. Anyways, um, the jewelry also in this video is not thrifted. I have no real experience in thrifting jewelry except for a small collection of cheap clip-on earrings. Um, and I feel like having a few pieces of nice quality jewelry to put together with my thrifted outfits is <clears throat> the vibe. So these pieces are also created sustainably by my favorite jewelry company, Ana Luisa. And I will be showing you the individual pieces I got from them throughout the video. They are currently running their biggest sale of the year, which is 20% off of their entire website. So click the link in my description after you watch the video and check them out. We are off to a really good start with this first outfit. The top is originally from Shein, but I bought it for my friend Elise, who is a girl boss thrifter that runs her business Le Marché du Soleil on Instagram. Le Marché du Soleil. Yeah, that. The skirt is another equally fantastic part of the outfit. I don't know what brand it is because the tag has worn off, but it is 80% wool and very stylish. Shoes are Diva East platform clogs that are also from Le Marche, and my boyfriend sewed straps on them so they wouldn't fall off my feet. Get you a man who sews because it actually really comes in handy. Okay, so outfit two chose these oversized Marin Sport corduroy pants to pair with the shirt. My favorite t-shirt ever. It's also a little shameless self-promo. The shirt is thrifted, of course, but what makes it really special is that I screen printed my newest t-shirt design on it. I'm releasing this new line of shirts very, very soon on my website, so stay tuned for that. And while I won't have shirts available that are exactly like this one since it's thrifted, I do have an option that is very similar. I just think the print looks so good on this shade of green. I also am wearing these white and pink sport shoes, which are also thrifted by the way, um, and I will let you know when I get to the shoes that are not thrifted. Finally, this outfit features one of my favorite Ana Luisa necklaces, the one that I probably wear most often. This is the gold Jussoff necklace and it says BU on the front. I love its simplicity and the look of the chain and I wear it quite often. This next outfit features another find from Elise's shop. She actually had me model for one of her drops earlier this year, and this collared sweater shirt thing is one of the pieces she had me model, and now it is one of my favorite fall slash winter pieces. These Union Bay jeans are an absolute staple in my wardrobe. I bought them from another friend slash online thrifter. They are slightly big, so I wear them with this thrifted belt that is reversible. A third staple is my white Adidas shoes. Um, side note, I actually visited London a few years ago and now I only ever want to pronounce them as Adidas. But anyways, these are the shoes that were not thrifted. Outfit 4 features the same jeans, belt, and shoes, so I won't go into them again, but the top is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt that is another go-to for the cooler months. The jewelry I paired with the fit are three of Anna Luisa's beautiful rings, the Chloe, the Everly, and my newest addition, the Michelle Signet ring. It's the perfect piece for this outfit because it matches the color and I love a good color matching moment. Um, I also love wearing it because I just think it looks super classy. Outfit 5 marks the very first time I have worn this long knit skirt. 
My boyfriend has a habit of going to the thrift store and buying clothes not only for himself but also for me and this is one of the things he found and I gotta say I was not sure how I felt about it but now that I see it on me for the first time I definitely call this skirt a win. The top is the screen printed shirt I mentioned in the beginning that I bought from an art friend. I like to pair skirts with t-shirts to make them a little bit more casual and also give them a bit of an edge. I also grabbed my Vogue tote bag since bags are often a part of my outfits. Since the Mudcat shirt is short sleeved and these are supposed to be fall outfits, I also put on this sweatshirt that I stole from my boyfriend. When he thrifted it, it said Arthritis Associates, but he ripped out the thread until it said Art Associates, and I wish I owned a sweatshirt like this. The jewelry I wore with this is the silver Michelle bracelet, and I reused the sports shoes for this outfit. Next outfit, number six. The button up is from the brand Gant. It feels pretty heavyweight and durable, which I really like. I paired it with these pink joggers from Denim. I like the lounge quality of this outfit. It's very loose and comfy, but you can definitely go out in it. The jewelry I used is the very subtle Anna silver necklace. I have tended to prefer gold jewelry in the past, but I gotta say I'm really, really feeling these silver pieces. Outfit number seven took a little bit of trial and error, and my first attempt made me just straight up look like my mom. The, oh, I don't know how to pronounce this. The pièce de résistance. <laughs> pièce de résistance. Pi pièce de résistance. Pièce de résistance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> pièce de <laughs> I can't say. In French, this would be said, pièce de résistance. Please don't come for me, guys. That was horrible. I know that was horrible. Um, but that um, is the sweater, which I found in my favorite thrift shop again, and it was made in Scotland. So that's why I bought it. The tag literally says made in Scotland, and the brand is Pit Lockery Knitwear. I tried another pair of thrifted pants with it, and I liked it a little better, but I'm still not sure it hits. Outfit 8. This sweater has Heidelberg GC embroidered on the front of it. I can only assume GC stands for golf club. And I looked it up and turns out it's from Australia, which is super heckin' cool. Um, I kept the blue pants from my last outfit, which say Mr. Remo on the tag. Finally, the necklace is a very special piece from Ana Luisa because my boyfriend actually bought it for me as a gift. The ninth outfit is a black Liz and Me button up with the cutest little fall details on the collar. And the bottoms are Alfred Dunner corduroy pants that are super big on me, so I had to pin them. It's another very, very comfy, flowy outfit. I also paired this Eric and Christopher butterfly tote bag with it, which I also did not thrift, but it was a birthday present. Outfit 10 took a couple variations as I tried to figure out which pair looked best. The thing that didn't change was this beautiful silky rose print top. The first pants I tried were these Honey Punch camo joggers, and this pairing kind of reminds me of a TikTok video. So like, Chanel on the top? And don't f*** with me on the bottom! Don't f*** with me on the bottom! 
like Chanel on the top. Okay, so the other pair of pants I tried out is my non-thrifted Rue 21 high-rise jeggings. Also went with a cute heels moment for this outfit, and I bought these Massimo heels at Plato's Closet. Finally, the ring I'm wearing is the Mara Pearl, and unfortunately it doesn't seem to be available on Ana Luisa's website anymore, but they do have the Mara Onyx, which is the same thing, but in black. Alright, we have reached the last outfit, which is really good because I am about to take an editing break and go grab some food finally. But Outfit 11 features this cute collared sweatshirt from Southern Lady. I reused the camo joggers and white Adidas slash Adidas and also kept on the Mara Pearl ring because it matched the white collar of the shirt. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa for being the gracious sponsor of this video. Don't forget to click the link in my description and check out their 20% off sale. And let me know which outfit was your favorite. And while you're at it, also might as well let me know which one was your least favorite. I'm always curious to hear what you guys think, so comment those things below. Hope you guys had a good time watching and got some inspo for your own wardrobe. Happy thrifting! Um, and I will catch you guys in another video next week, which will be my October vlog if I can get it edited in time. So wish me luck with that. Hope you have a great rest of your day and don't forget to give this video a like on your way out. Bye guys!